The latest eruption in the Reckonis Peninsula of Iceland is sorted like this, with a uh, small cloud uh, of vapor appearing at the surface, then bang, we had the eruption. And this eruption is spread quickly to 3.9 kilometers, around 4 kilometers, in a several staggered fissures joining together. You can see they're not a straight all joined together, but we draw them for the ease of the uh, you know, display. In a line. The flow was toward the north and uh, east and west. The one toward the uh, sourcing power plant actually stopped. It didn't go. It's now confined to two fissures in the north of the Stora Skagwell. And uh, at the moment, it is, this is what you just see. And uh, the strong winds are blowing. The map shows the initial stage, but what it is, is now, it is what I'm showing you this is using the Google Earth. You can see this is the Reckonis Peninsula, um, Grindavik is toward the left uh, lower part, and that's the fissure active. Very insignificant linear fissure that is eruption happening now there. This was already once an eruption at least was there happened. And when we look at it, and I use my knowledge of the geomorphology, we can see that probably we can draw some lineations that uh, help us to understand it better. For example, this line can be the plate boundary. You can see the texture is different. This side is a uh, Eurasian side is fresher, looks younger. Lava flow can do that, cover all the older stuff. And uh, uh, Americas look on the other side. Some of these uh, fissures, of course, extend to that side, but we don't see much movement uh, in the sense of, you know, being covered by or resurfaced. The gas pollution from those eruptions now in the north can spread to the south. And you see, you can see the development of them over the few coming days. This is the latest update by the um, uh, Icelandic Meteorological Office. You can see that the activity is limited to the north. Seismic activity is measured to the south near Hagafell or Grindavik. No uh, seismic activity near the Hagafell or Grindavik. And the eruption seems to be stabilized. This is all that uh, I, I have to say to you, more than what the uh, IMO said. I bet the robot cannot say that or add any of these graphics or a group of a confederation of the robots. Of course, it's very well known fact that every YouTube account can have up to 50 more account YouTube channels attached to it. So it's very easy to create these kind of illusions of the confederation or a team. And I'm sure many of you know that every account, YouTube account, can have up to 50 channels attached to it. And they can leave comments, a flood of comments, you know, here and there. Can't tell the difference when a real account actually sometimes a percentage of those real accounts can actually donate or super tank or anything five to ten percent if if it is really good. The rest of them are just fake. They create people practically without actually existing anything there behind it. And probably this is the issue that uh, YouTube should address uh, all these 50 accounts attached to each one uh, email account or something.